How's it going guys, Agent here, and welcome back to some more Spongebob Rehydrated. The last episode was a very productive one. We completed all of Goolagoon, which was pretty productive in of itself, because in the past we would have to dedicate one video to one half of the level, and another video to finish it up. And then on top of that, we defeated Robo Sandy and moved on to the second part of the game. That boss fight was sick, especially because of the whole setting taking place in the Poseidon, in a ring, and it just made everything feel official. It was like the WWE. But yeah, if I had to guess, the next boss fight would have to be a Robo Patrick and then finish the entire game off with SpongeBob versus Robo SpongeBob. That sounds pretty epic to me. Watch this be right. But before we get there, we have to do a bunch of levels as always. So let's go and knock these out of the park as he freaking sticks his tongue out and uh, shows us his eye. What's cool is that um, this was like our like first main hub sort of area. And I thought, you know, you would have to press R1, do a loading screen and everything, but you can just seamlessly walk into this new area, which is cool because it's kind of like an extension of our home now. Now I know you guys want to go in here. So let's check it out. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking. Oh my gosh, the meme. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your miss. Oh, she's mad. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Let's do this. What is this, like a survival sort of thing? Let's go. Ooh. Oh shoot, that's gonna explode. Alright, these tartar sauce guys are like really freaking annoying. Because they they always take two hits to take out. I think they're the only enemy type that takes two hits, right? Oh! I didn't see those guys, they were sh uh, so short. Oh my gosh, whatever. Stop laughing. Wait, whoa. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I mashed X one too many times. Skipped that dialogue. But it was a one-liner anyway, so... We can always pause the video. But I love how he's all crinkly and stuff in her Poseidon. I mean, not Poseidon. Just her... Dome in general. <laughs> Water! Dude. Hold on. This right here... This is the thumbnail, right here. <laughs> Let's uh... She has a couple tiki's here, cool. That was pretty cool, I guess. Like a spring that wasn't really like a full-fledged level. But um... It was still cool that they added this. Stop it. Uh... I mean, that's it, right? And then I like how you can see Patrick like... Peeking in, like, you trying to come in, bro? He has this, like, drink and everything. Did he also have a drink in that episode? Just kind of making fun of SpongeBob and how he needed, uh, water? But yeah, let's get out of there. Just really had to check that out. Alright, we're back out. Um, Bubble Buddy's over there. Seeing him totally reminded me that we now have this. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Victory. All right, Shady Shoals Rest Home. Oh my gosh, the retirement home. Let's check this out. Wow, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, my heroes! Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Oh. Is that the TV repairman? No. No, it's that excited Sponge Kid again. Hello. Oh. Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? I don't think I can. Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Never mind. Birdie. Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Yeah. Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermalair. 
Are you sure you're up to this task? Let's do it. Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Oh my gosh, this is so accurate. Isn't that how they actually access the Mermelair? They just sit down on the sofa and the sofa like... Like flips. And they go under um... Under the floor. Oh my gosh, I'm out here beating old people. I might get arrested in real life. Not sure if I can upload this anymore. This is the way out, right? Okay, let's just... This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular what? programming. Retirement home girls gone wild. Yeah, that's not sus at all. How is everyone oblivious to Plankton? Enter the Mermelair? Let's do it. Oh? Oh, it doesn't even flip. It just goes up and you go down on your own. Okay. We are in the Murma Lair. This is sick. Kind of looks like the Bat Cave. Okay, not pressing triangle on that because it'll hurt us. Evil. Hey, man and Barnacle Boy. My God, he's fanboying. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See, I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps. On All right, kid, knock it off. Just tell us what you want. <laughs> I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. Oh, no. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Is he okay? Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Yeah, you gotta go to those. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Away! Man, Mermaid Man is funny, but like, you can still hear it's not the same voice actor. But I mean, that's the next, uh, best thing, right? It's not just any sponge, it's Don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Okay. So, we just time this? We just... Okay. Not too bad. That's probably gonna get really annoying further ahead. Pull this up. Wait, they respawned? What happened? These poles are power generators. Don't touch them or the energy beam. Pretty self-explanatory. Didn't want to touch that in the first place. Oh, there's a new enemy type up there. Yo, he looks like... Like Arthur Morgan or McCree. Oh my gosh, they're practicing against sponges. Oh, we're not- this isn't looking good for us. Wait, so how does this one work? He doesn't even have a gun, he has- What? What? Okay, this is like a whole new tier of freaking robot, bro. This, this thing is like a mini boss. What? 
Do we just keep hitting him over and over and then something will happen to him? Okay, that guy... Okay. Takes three hits. I don't understand that little bomb robot either. Like, are we allowed to hit that? I feel like we, we can't. You can use bubble bolt to turn paddle wheels. Bowl one side of this paddle to make it turn. Copy. Okay, the other way, I guess. Oh, okay. You gotta make it turn in the direction that you want it to. Can we turn it all the way here? There's like a bungee jump thing that we can do. Looking promising. Nice. There better be a golden spatula down here, dude. Ultimate wedgie experience. Alright, it, it was just a sock. But a sock's a sock, you know? You can see Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy from up here. Man, it's a shame. Oh, I messed up one too many. Yeah, it's a shame. Mermaid Man used to look really attractive, dude. He, he, he had the six pack, he looked swole, got a nice head of hair. He still has a good head of hair now, but it's all white. But in terms of his body, body, shape, and frame, it literally became a ball, dude. The bubble ball can also be used to press buttons. Like so. Wait, what? Okay. Did we really have to do that, though? Couldn't we just have smacked that? Nope. Hey, golden spatula. I don't know about you, but I feel like we're getting kind of decent at this game now. Just racking up uh, golden spatulas like it's nothing. The Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. What? Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with a Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. You're lazy. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? You're jealous. Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's interesting. They recruited Squidward as well? Are we, like, the next in line to inherit the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy powers? Alright, that's where we came from. I mean, he can totally- yo, he has the same nose as freaking uh... What's his name? Barnacle Boy. And, like, we're, we're just as stubby and, like, short as a Mermaid Man. Well, old Mermaid Man. OG Mermaid Man was, um... Pretty tall. What is this one about? Oh, we can't even hit that. Bridge activated. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a lot going on in this level. Yeah, there's a lot. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with this. Because that cave looks like a one-way... One a one-way thing, you know? Okay... What's in here? Just a single shiny object? Bolo-rama. Someone tell me how many shiny objects that one shiny object gave us, though. It made a special sound. Uh, it made... I feel like it gave us a lot, you know? Even though it was just one. Uh, do we need to switch here? I think we do. I see watermelons and targets in the distance. Back is Patrick. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to That's us. me. 
I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Got it. Throw, throw, the throw, throw, fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Ew. Alright, um... Little minigame for Patrick, I see. Whoa, 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 what's happening? No, oh! Okay. Okay. Wait, they explode? Okay, we're fine. Maybe we might have actually got into our head. Whoa, dude. Ill. No. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're first trying all of these. Um, can you pop? Any day now. Thank you. Woo, up we go. Oh. Oh. I thought there was a pattern. I thought he was gonna go right, left, right, left, but nah, he did right, left, left, right, then, then hit me with a double kill. Oh, we're fine. Nice. What do we get? I did the job. What do we get? You did it! Now I can get some sleep. Let's go. Yeah, Mermaid Man's voice is very weird in here. It was fine when we were talking to him earlier with Spongebob, but I don't know, he sounds extra freaking crusty right now. Oh, we don't have enough, right? Oh, so this is how it feels to be poor. No, I'm just kidding. That, that makes me sound like I'm rich in real life. I am, I'm far from that. Uh, I guess we go here now? I am confused. We didn't go there yet, and we saw- whatever, let's do this. Okay. Cute. You're not good. Ooh, smack you into your own creator. We are the sponge nator. Oh wait, wait, wait. Why did I switch? This is a job. For the Spongeinator. I forgot Spongebob can do the whole Mario wall jump thing. Jump, jump, jump. Smack. Blow up. Okay, cool. All of that for what? For some shiny objects? Kinda disappointed we went this way now. Alright, this is the only place that's left to do. Let's uh... What? This way? What? How do we get up there? Um. Oh, now it works. Excuse me? What were wrong? What was wrong with all the other bowling balls we threw earlier? Oh, oh, shoot. I don't want to touch that. We're fine. Hit you. Cool. Hit this. Left wall jump activated. Wait, wait, what? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see that I'm icy. All right, let's take this guy out. This guy is annoying. Do you actually? Oh, we can use our bowling ball attack. There's nothing 
like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells it's like just hard to throw it because of his little minions or whatever. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we don't we don't always have to um get up and close and karate chop them or catch them with our jellyfish net or whatever. Smack you. Hold this. Right wall jump activated. Nice. And let's slide down this for giggles. Nice. We got a purple shiny object. I feel like that's worth a lot more. Get the sock! Yes! I never thought I'd be so excited to get socks, bro. Alright, now this makes sense. We wall jump all the way to the top, get a golden spatula, move on to the next part of the level, and then it's GG's. Come here. I'm about to flip a mean patty with you. Oh, this is the computer they were talking about. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. Copy. The first one is here. Did that. Press the buttons! Got it! Whoa! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. I better. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! <laughs> Man, imagine if that was Spongebob's, like, voice on a regular. We would take him a lot more seriously. You don't want to mess with a guy with that sort of voice. Press the master shutdown button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system area. Whoa. to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Carrie's everywhere. Meow. Meow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Meow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. So smart. Okay. Ooh. I almost missed that guy for some reason. You think you're so cute until I get up close and personal. Um, what was that sound? Okay, it's just random sound effects. All right, we gotta go through the caves. Don't touch the red. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not too bad. I like how it's like a red light, green light. One, two, three sort of thing. Like it turns yellow before it turns red, so it's a nice warning. It doesn't just freaking turn red on you right away and make you want to rage. Ooh, no. Okay, okay. Legit, legit. Smack you. Whoa, this is... Okay, let's do this. Okay. Nice and slow. Actual first tries. I'm racking up a good amount of shiny objects as well. We're at 2k. What is happening here? Get off me. Oh, okay. Slam you. A little bit of electrical tango action. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Whoa, this is... Alright, this one's a little hard. Wait. Oh, this is annoying with the tartar sauce guy. We're just jumping for it! Hitting you! Oh, he doesn't die. Okay, I'm not touching that red thing. I'm not touching the red tile just because just of you. I know what you want me to do. Taking advantage of my belligerence 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. This way, this way. I'm gone. You're not worth my time. You guys are just temptations. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, that was close. You almost touched the red tile. Okay, whatever. I'm gone. I feel like a new sponge. Okay, we got another. Can we kill him with the red? Oh my gosh. Bolo-rama. Are you kidding me, dude? I want. Oh man, I wanted to blow him up with the red tiki. They're like they're like little dog robots. Yo. Oh my gosh. Okay, that guy's gone. Um. What is the purpose? What is happening here? Oh, that looks convoluted, bro. Alright, golden spatula is there. Alright, let's just grab it. Let's just grab it. I was gonna be like, let's get everything first and then reward ourselves with the golden spatula. But we live in a society with instant gratification, so... Um, my brain can't even start to comprehend what's happening here. What? What? Okay, I feel like... What is happening here? Oh, we're too poor for that. I feel like this brings us up there and then brings us to the sock, you know? Alright, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's just keep going on. We need two more. Okay. Can't take it. Oh, there's a golden spatula right there. No way it's that easy, right? It's gonna fly away or something. Huh? Ah. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. What did smell that like do? Victory. Alright, that might help later. What is this about? Oh, what? Oh, we are starting up some crazy contraption for our bowling ball? Or a rock or something. Okay. We're on to something. We can really progress if we want to, but... Come on, there's Mr. Krabs and a golden spatula right here. Why would you do that to yourself? Look, boy! There's gold under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All right, you need to you need to relax. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. Okay. This is going to take some brain power. For sure. Alright, let's see what's up here. We haven't been here yet. Hit you. Okay. What did that do? What? And... Okay, I feel like... Oh, wait. There was a purpose for being up here. But yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be up here. I think this is... For our bubble ball? Bubble bowl? Do we hit you? Hit you from the side? Uh... Not sure. But we should have hit... Okay, this is deactivated now. What? 
Hold on, let's let's observe the track. This needs to be and then that needs to be Okay, I think how it's gonna be like is we throw the bowling ball, right? And as it's moving, we need to hit all of these things to make sure it completes its journey to the top. Um Oh, okay, so that was just one of the computers we need for um Alright. Okay, it moves pretty slow. Okay, okay, okay. Don't rotate on me, dude. Alright, we're here, we're here. Nice, nice. Over here, hit that. Get out of our way. Nice scoop successful. Oh. What is happening? Is it gonna work? Wait, that, that scoop thing is supposed to... No, I think it's gonna fall, dude. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. How do we move that thing again? Alright. Alright. Now's a good time. Cool. Oh, we should hit this like now. Like, like now, now. Okay, ooh. Cool. Alright, this, this is where timing is important. It has a fairly short window. Um, okay. Alright, we had the right idea last time, but we got a little too antsy and jumped the gun. Alright, let's do it now. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. I think we'll make it, we'll make it. Please? Oh, so close, dude, so close. Alright, we gotta go, we gotta go. I don't have time to fight you. Yo, we gotta go, please. Okay, ooh. Nice, nice. On to the next, on to the next. Get out, get out, get out. What did that do? What did that do? Oh, please. Oh, shoot. We're fine, we're fine. No, no, wait, no, no. Oh, wait, what? Wait, okay, this way, tilt, tilt, tilt. Bro, tilt. Yes? Okay, okay, okay. What now, what now, what now? We, hit, we gotta hit this, we gotta hit this. Hiya! Oh? Let's go! Oh! You're mine. High five, guys. High five in the, in the freaking, in the comments. High fives. Oof, all right, we can move on. We need one more computer. And I totally forgot this was all to help Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> okay, oh, we're back. What? Did we miss a computer? Is it this one? I like how it actually makes a sound effect when you hit it. Alright, so we apparently missed a computer. Alright, we have to we have to backtrack. I I we missed one somewhere. Alright guys, I backtracked a bit. Um we came back to this area. We were too poor when we came here the first time, but uh, we have enough now. So let's see what this is about. I doubt this will give us the last 
Wait, did it? Wait, what? Oh no, we got this one, right? Okay, still on the search for that last computer. But we can do this now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. We're doing... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't push me off. Don't push me off. Whoa. Whoa. No. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Why was that so stressful? All right. We're still searching for that computer. Let's see if we can find it soon. All right, guys. I've ran around the Mermelair a bunch of times, and I cannot find this fourth uh, override computer thing for the life of me. There's only one thing that's left, and there's like a, a clam that costs 2300 um shiny objects to open next to mermaid man uh when he was sitting on the couch there with that uh patrick mini game and i am gonna try and open that i feel like that's where we need to go next it kind of sucks that um you know the progression of the story is like locked behind you know shiny objects which is pretty much currency but um it, it's my last resort you know it's the only thing that i can think of so i've literally just been doing this over and over just been slamming this guy and uh i'll see you guys over there when i reach 2300 um shiny objects which is not too far away just met the all right guys so i have 23 shiny uh 2300 shiny objects now i actually have a couple hundred more than that this is the clam that i was talking about um, this is the only thing that I can think of as to where to go next. Um, okay. Good thing there's a bus stop here. That would have been awkward. Um, I think this has something to do with Patrick. Because, you know, there's a watermelon in it and everything. So let's pay for this. We are poor once again. Okay, cool. Just like what we predicted. Um, there's this little launch thing for Patrick. And here's Barnacle Boy. Hmm. Gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Why are you looking at that? Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Got it. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look, look, look. It's right here. This is the last one we need. <gasps> we got it. Okay. I was about to say, if they make us freaking go down there, switch to SpongeBob just to throw a bowling ball at this, I would have been like, bruh. But yeah, if you guys are playing this game too and you get stuck here, you need shiny objects to progress. Wait, what? All towers reset. Oh, this is a puzzle. What? Oh, I see, I see. You have to get them all to turn around, right? So it's like a matter of are you hitting the right buttons okay we need that last one to turn around okay that just complicated things uh okay that Okay.
All right, we, we literally just trialed and aired that, and we eventually got it. Um, okay, so I guess we talk to Mermaid Man now. I mean, Barnacle Boy. Ah, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Seriously. Here, have a golden spatula. These guys are so privileged. Okay, nice. Got a golden spatula. We got the last um, modulator, uh, whatever it's called, override. Now we can go back up, talk to the main console, and I guess lower a bridge to that villain containment center. I'm calling it right now. We're gonna fight against. Well, I don't know what he's called, the human stingray or something like that? You know Mermaid Man's like arch nemesis? I don't know if we're gonna fight him, but I feel like he's we're gonna at least talk to him and see him there. He has to be there. Um, okay, yeah, we talked to her now. Uh control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Go in spatula. We can drop the bridge. See what's in the containment center. Hopefully it's something funny and not something that'll cause us any stress. Cool. Well, look at this. This is kind of... This is kind of cinematic. Oh, invisible wall. Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's VCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Kron do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! <laughs> Dang, man. That whole conversation was actually kind of serious. You could feel the backstory and the emotions. What are we doing here? Oh, he's catching up. What the heck? What? Oh. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We throw we throw this. We throw this. Dang it. Okay, we know now, we know now. Fresh like a spring breeze. I was like, what is happening? Alright, so we just avoid this until the shield goes down for a second and then we bowling ball him. Used up all the underwear that's on the stage, so 
can't afford to take any more damage. Cool, cool from here. Come on. Let's go. Okay, okay. Surely it'll get harder. Yeah, okay. Now he's throwing bots. Nothing to worry about. We are the young sponge of goodness. We will avenge Mermaid Man. I'll smack you, then jump over this. We- oh man. Oh shoot, that was close. Oh no! Alright. Alright. Now it's personal prawn. Now I know how Mermaid Man feels. It's pretty straightforward. It just, yeah, it gets hectic when there's robots involved as well. You have to worry about jumping over this every now and then. Where we, okay, cool, cool, cool. Take that! Prawn. Is it just me, or have I, like, never heard of Prawn before? I've heard of Man Ray, the Dirty Bubble, all the other guys he mentioned, but never heard of Prawn. I don't think he was even in the, the show. He just might be like an in-game boss. Fine. Stick here. We don't need to take the robots out. You can stop at the bubble beam now. Squirtle wannabe. Alright, cool. Steve Reich. Nope. 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 Let's do this. Nope. Let's go ring around the rosy. The ring of justice. Alright, now we have to go the other way. Smack you. You can stop now, you can stop now, you can stop now, you can- Okay, you don't want to stop? Ooh, that's a lot of them, boys. That's a lot of them. Oh! No, no, no! Oh, 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 we're fine. We're fine. Come on. One more, one more, one more. Which one? Which one? There you go. Be gone. No, no, not again. This is not fair. I got a frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again. Thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here. I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? <laughs> Even Mermaid Man's, uh, tired of Spongebob. Um, okay, cool. There's nothing left to do here. Maybe a hidden sock somewhere underneath the map, but... I'm pretty much done. Ah, uh, Checkers! The king of non-contact sports! <laughs> Is it the king of non-contact sports? Isn't it chess? Definitely chess over checkers. Um, but yeah. We pretty much just fast traveled out of the Mermelair. We're back here in the retirement home. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy looking just like a uh, regular, you know, geriatrics. <laughs> no one will ever know that they were superheroes. But yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with our performance here in the Mermelair. I, as, uh, when, when we fast traveled, we saw, I mean, I saw that, um, we got all the golden spatulas, we got all the socks, and we got all the overrides, which uh, we pretty much needed to do in order to progress the story and complete the level. But yeah, I think that might be our first 100%ed level, because a lot of the ones in the first area needed some backtracking, like um, Jellyfish Fields and um, I think it's Goo Lagoon, they need the uh, sponge bowl ability in order to get some socks and maybe even some uh, golden spatulas but yeah um yeah we're definitely gonna go back outside and see what the rest of the second part of the game has to offer 
Not sure what to expect, but I'm sure whatever it is, we'll find a way and we'll have fun with it. Uh, so yeah, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs if you liked it, sub if you're new, comment if you want me to talk with you. I'm Agent, you're awesome. Those are facts and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.